the energy vibration reading um, for the um, <laughs> this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Leah's um, I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is the last week of June the week begins from um, the 25th until um, the the week begins from the 25th on the, the 1st of July I want to say thank you so much to each and everyone for the wonderful like shares and support please um, leave um, a message and please thumbs up and like and share these videos thank you for coming and thank you for returning welcome all newcomers let's see what's happening because the week is the wheel of fortune and we could the wheel of fortune is have to do with you Leos it's a very um, positive energies uh, for you Leos and the energy vibrate zodiac energy is water so let's see for the Leos um, the hermit the energy of the hermit um, is here for the Leos and um, energy of the hermit is here for the Leos okay so what the angel want to show for the Leos um, the four of ones you have a strong foundation so whatever is happening for you Leos you're looking within you're seeking inner wisdom and guidance and you have a strong foundation to whatever this is and whatever is transpiring okay as we look forward um, there is the three of cups wonderful happy celebration and this is good because this is letting you know that as you go within and you try to find out that the best way of doing things and seek out the inner wisdom and guidance is always help you to balance your world outside to balance who you are outside and this is what is happening and as you can balance yourself um, you are going to be um, um, celebrating in a, and having a big win transition is coming up and this is good whatever um, that has been taken place there is a transition coming up and the transition is coming up in a positive way um, six of ones with good news a transition is coming up in a positive way six of ones um, with a good news as we move forward um, we have the wheel of fortune so this is the energy of the week and this is the wheel of fortune that is coming up and um, this is positive because you have a strong foundation and the three of cups is also here which is bringing forth positive situation and positive energy vibration okay and then um, you have the five of ones conflict so there comes an end to whatever the conflict was around you Queen of Swords is here so some of you are going to be dealing with the Queen of Swords and uh, don't back away from this person because they always think that with their um, their words and communication and uh, um, they, they can just you know um, go out and just do whatever they think so a lot of you are going to have a um, situation with the Queen of Swords whoever this Queen of Swords is a lot of you are going to be having situation with this Queen of Swords but you're not going to be um, backing down you are going to be standing up to this person um, and um, and um, what is going to be happening um is that um i am so what is going to transpire is basically that um um finish off what you have been doing um, in a good way and then um, you're going to see positive energies positive energies coming in it's a beautiful beautiful week for you guys because it's as if there was a situation um, that is from a past life and I'm loving this because um, the, the, the the foundation of your week is based on you standing up and you having a strong foundation you have to deal with a karmatic situation but it's going to you're going to be successful over this situation okay you're going to be very successful over this situation because you're looking within 
and um, you are seeing what has transpired. You went within and you are mustering up, and you're seeing what has transpired. And the situation, what has transpired, is that um, you receive news that is going to bring you a strong foundation. Um, the wheel of fortune is here, um, and with the wheel of fortune, there is um, a positive outcomes that is going to be happening for you. Um, for you um 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 leos <laughs> i'm sorry i'm a little bit distracted because um um my girlfriend is texting me <laughs> so okay let's see what was the situation where you went um within to look at um the knight of coins so some of you are going to be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini or a Libran woman over the age of 14 and this little fella who is between the energy the ages of 25 and 45 that is at um, at Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay and you you have found out what he has done um, it's as if you have found out what he has done and there is going to be um, good news coming in okay it's as if you see what he has done and there is going to be good news coming in the energy of the four of wands is always stability it's as if some of you are building a house and you realize that the builder or the, um, the construction um, tried to get away with something and you um, really caught it on a time okay because here is the two of wands an offer is going to be coming in for you okay so from the night of um, from the steer um, the, the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, an offer is going to be um, coming in from you and here you are um, celebrating this new start and this new offer that is coming in for you then we have um, the Knight of Wands this is someone who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this could be some of you young people between the ages of uh, 25 and 40 and you're trying um, there is a transition that is coming in for you okay um, some of you had some conflicts and there is coming in a transition for you as we look forward to see what is the outcomes King of Swords so there is a situation with a Queen of Swords and the King of Swords whoever um, these two people are it could be a mother figure or a father figure and whatever the situation is some of you might be receiving help from them or some of you might have to be standing up against them on the work floor or in your private life okay this could be a situation that you are going to be victorious and you have a strong foundation against the king of swords so whoever this king of swords is and whatever he has been trying to do I'm seeing that he hasn't been working on a more positive energy and you're going to overwind this the devil and I knew it I knew it because um, the queen of swords this is an energy where um, and it is basically someone who is a um, an Aquarius a Gemini or Libra that you have a situation with and it's, so it says this person is working with another um, queen um, another um, Aquarius that is a man because it's the woman and the man that came up and they're in some devil dealing in the sense that they are um, um, vibrating with lower energies um, they are planning something or trying to make something happen uh, these two people could be working with negative energies so be aware of that and when I say negative energy that means they could be um, um, black magic no not white, white white magic but black magic okay they could be um, working with the um, souls that is unable to cross over and sending them um, to other people to use it to hurt other people so be aware of this because um, this is what is happening okay it is as if sometimes your life just fall apart and it's not that there are um, there are different moons are different things in your chart there is just people that um, is using you and see 10 of swords ten of swords so whatever lies 
these um, hair people are doing with you you're gonna be finding out because um, if you're in a relationship with either the Queen of Swords or the King of Swords you're going to decide to end this relationship um, whatever lies that has been told is now going to come to an end because um, debt and transformation is coming in so whatever lies that was told is now coming to an end because um, the debt that means and and the conflicts because they it's as if they plan a situation against you and it has to do with some of you are in a relationship with this air sign person and they're in an extra an extra relationship because um, obviously this is a karmatic situation that comes back so people who are in relationship with Aquarians Gemini or Libra you have bring a karmatic situation and it's all about um, sex it's, it's nothing about love it's all about sex and you have brought it back in your life and um, by bringing this back in your life we're going to see um, was it a good idea to bring this back in your life nine of Pentacles is all about money so um, what I'm seeing is that someone who is an a uh, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is working with someone who is an Aquarius um, Gemini or Libra and it's all about money it's all about money that they are trying um, to um, block someone or do something but it's all about money but it's not gonna work out basically it's not gonna work out because um, they have to pay some money they have to pay out some money and let's see to who because they've done something um, page of swords so um, they have been lying okay whoever this um, if you're doing business with someone who's an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra um, they have been lying they have been lying and being deceitful and lying and this is going to be coming out the energy of the hermit is here twice so think before you make any move in this week think because as you think before you make any move and think of the consequences you will win this and overcome this lie and injustice of whatever that has happened and transpired okay outcomes for the week and uh, really a transformation that comes up twice uh, ending to the lies and mishaps that has happened that comes up twice okay that comes up twice and it can um, be the end of a friendship with someone but um, um, whatever the ending of this friendship is it's for the better this wasn't a friend if friendships are going to be ending it wasn't a friend in the beginning okay um, so always remember that if a friendship um, is going to be ending it wasn't a, a friendship in the beginning okay so an, a positive transformation I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here namaste until next week